Yeah, you should. Can we? Can we? Can we? Sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. okay, we're here at the St. Rose High School, and uh, we're here to <laughs> congratulate you on being one of the successful applicants for the high school uh, for the classroom of the future award and today we're going to demo some of the things that you've done but I just wanted to tell you a little bit about Ocean First Foundation and what it is. Ocean First Foundation was created by Ocean First Bank which you all know that we have a local branch um, if you've ever seen Ocean First but when the bank went public it set aside some money and created a foundation that would gift money back to the community to those that reside within our footprint so it can help make the lives of other people better. One of the important aspects of it is we think that education is something that we needed to concentrate on and our board of directors um, have come up with a number of opportunities for schools to apply for grants in the past. We've given out more than a million dollars but last year we created this opportunity for a classroom of the future and we challenged all of our educators to write a grant that would enrich their students' lives. It would be a collaborative effort, something that would be useful to not just one classroom, but to the entire school, and um, raise the bar. Raise the bar in education and to be able to fund something that you don't have in your regular operating budget. So you students are a part of this process. You're a part of a win-win, because when Ocean First comes into a marketplace, what we do is we, we look at the demographics and we say, how can we partner and make the community a better place than when we found it? So congratulations to you for writing such a wonderful grant. You. Dr. <laughs> Michelle. I'm sorry, Dr. That's Michelle. Okay. And one of 15 uh, that mm -hmm. actually won the grant that was a standout um, award. So technology plays a huge role, and, and we need you to tell us exactly how you applied it today and what it will mean to your students in the future. Well, what we started doing was we took a look at what the colleges will look at, what the students will have to face when they leave St. Rose High School. And one of the pieces that was missing was the virtual classroom. We have 40-minute classes. The students have six periods a day, plus they have a gym period and they have a lunch period. So we looked at how do we make the best use of our 40 minute time and be able to extend our learning beyond the classroom. So we took a look at what resources do we have, what resources do we need, and Ms. Borlon was more than happy to, to jump on board with me. And we started using the discussion boards that are part of our website, we started using the blogs, we started using the online quizzes. Uh, Ms. Borlon also does podcasting with her class and I post all of my resources online in the portal. So we started having the kids leave our rooms and go home and do stuff at home, participating in discussion boards, participating in virtual quizzes, participating in blogging. And from there, we had the students give us some feedback about what they experienced. So I'm gonna let two of the students actually show you some of the things that they experienced. Well, first off, uh, this year in APRO, we began with uh, the Middle Ages and we ended up about 1980, 1990 um, in Europe. And one of the cool things um, that we had was the iPads that we actually took online quizzes and we had, you know, we could finish at 11 o'clock at night and um, that was very, you know, useful and effective with the iPad because we could find out all of our information on the iPad from the internet. Uh, as a student at St. Rose, I've never really experienced anything like this. Uh, really extended things beyond the classroom and uh, especially with an AP course this was good gained a little extra knowledge and we did things such as online quizzes you can see a couple of them here and uh, she would post the quizzes online we have a certain deadline to put it in by we would take the quizzes and it would really help us a lot and then we also did uh, discussion boards where we could see what other kids were thinking on certain questions and we could compare our answers and learn even more Okay, you are creating the classroom of the future of the classroom of the future. So now, let's cut the ribbon so we can kick off the program. Go ahead. 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 